What's going on everyone? My name is Under the Radar and a welcome to the first ever Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon battle that I've have that I'm having on this channel. I'm going up against my boy Powder and the AV Dunce Barcelona. If you do not know who Powder is, he is absolutely hilarious and you guys will love his content, so please go check him out. He is literally the funniest person on YouTube in my personal opinion. If you don't know what team we're bringing, we're bringing an assault vest the weird spread Genesect, Belly Drum Line Noon with Stopping Tantrum and Return, a bulky offensive Monferno, Spex Tapu Coco, that will be my lead. I'm bringing a really, really fat um, uh, Yuxi and then a really fat um, Milotic as well. I'm so excited for this game. I'm so excited to be using Genesect on Wi Fi. I'm so excited to be using Monferno. Okay, let's see. Yo, real talk though, Getsus is my all-time favorite uh, evil person from Pokemon. I gotta use his. I gotta use his music. I don't know if there's a code to turn off the music yet in this game, so I'm really excited for this. Let's see what he's bringing. All oh, snap. Okay, he brought pretty much exactly what I figured he would. He didn't bring Tentacruel, which is fine. Which is. No big deal at all. Uh, he does not have a single switch into Tapu Koko on his entire team, so I'm just going to go ahead and lead off with that. Also, I'm bringing back the uh, the layout from APA because I got really pissed off at APA and didn't even upload the rest of my games. Um, so I do want to put this layout to good use. And I figured that this would be a, a pretty good way to start out the season. Shout out to the Kamo'o gear, dude hottest gear literally the hottest gear in the entire game so fly so so fly i absolutely love it have fun powder uh, <laughs> oh man i'm excited for this i am so excited i'm so excited to be playing wi-fi again look at tapu coco just infernape okay he might be scarfed ape uh that is a very real possibility and Let's see. Let's see. If you scarf deep, can you Oko me with Flare Blitz? Flare Blitz doesn't Oko me. So I could just Volt Switch for free here. But at the same time, if I go into Yuxi and he clicks U turn, I'll get a little bit of chip damage off on him. Also, uh, my meter thing is a little bit off. Ooh, I can't use the HP bar. That sucks. Oh, well. I'll just remove that for now. Okay. I'll have to get another one made. Um, yeah, I'm just going to switch out, and I'm going to go into my Yuxi. I don't want to risk him being scarfed and getting 80% knocked off of my uh, my Tapu Koko turn one. So I'll just go into ESPN or something. U turn. That's fine. He's going to take a nice little bit of chip damage. 181 to 123. One eighty one to one twenty three is a little bit less than sixty. See, it looks like he could be scarfed. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely scarf damage. That's not banded or life orb or anything like that. So he's definitely scarfed. But this is perfect. This allows me to get up my stealth rocks, and that's all that I really want from this. Get up these young rocks. And then he can knock me off. He'll take some. Uh, he'll take some rocky helmet damage. And now what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to click U-turn and probably go into Genesect. Actually, no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click U-turn because I'll get off a little bit more chip damage on this thing, which is what I really need. And we'll see if he switches out. We'll see if he switches out. If he does switch out and it's into a wall that I know Linoon can live a hit from, that's amazing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go into... Yeah, I think I'm going to go into Monferno. Because like while he has Magearna, 
I have my Linoon to just stomping tantrum that thing, and that's pretty much the easiest thing in the world. And he'll be scared out by a Flare Blitz, so I'll be able to go for a U-turn. And whatever he does bring in, I'll be able to Belly Drum up on. Earthquake, I can tank this. I can tank this. Yep. And let me see something. My... My noon. Also, U-turn should mean that he didn't have Rocky Helmet, so... That's something to note. Versus, uh, what is that thing called? Hang roof. Earthquake does 37% maximum, so I'll be able to belly drum and then take another earthquake and sweep his team. Hopefully. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the hope. Yeah, I'm just gonna click U-turn here. Let's see if he goes into Zapdos. Mesprit, okay. This is cool. Because I get a nice little bit of chip damage off on this thing with rocks. I love how quickly the HP bar moves down. I love that. I love that. Let's say that this Mesprit's offensive. Eh. I just get to drop in my Tapu Koko again, and I can go for a Specs Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch. And depending on what type of set he is, he might already be in range of Volt Switch. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click Volt Switch right here. He does stay in. This might knock him out, depending on like how bulky he is. And it does knock him out. That's awesome. That does, in fact, knock him out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into... Um... I'm going to go into my Uxie. No. I don't want to let Magirna come in. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my Genesect because if he brings in his Infernape, I'll go into my uh, look at look at shiny Genesect. Look at that thing. Um, I'll be okay with going into my Uxie, sacking that off to the U-turn, and then whatever he brings in, I can set up with Lightning. He is playing really well about around not allowing me to set up with Lightning, which is pretty great. Which is pretty great. I love. Red Genesect. Absolutely, positively love Red Genesect. So, let me see here. He could be offensive. If he's offensive to my Tapu Koko, I think I can tank a Thunderbolt pretty easily. As well as a Heat Wave. Yeah, Heat Wave does 53% maximum. And then I'll outspeed him. And I can click Thunderbolt and kill him or Volt Switch. That's what I'm going to do. I didn't want to allow his uh, Mens to come in. And his Magirna to come in. That's why I went into my Genesect. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for Defog. Okay. I'm still okay with this because everything has taken the chip damage that I need it to. And he is lefties. Bolt Switch no longer kills this thing if he's max HP. However, uh, since I know that he's Defog, more than likely he's not going to be uh, super offensive. So I, what I can do is I can Bolt Switch out and then I can go into like my Monferno or... Um, or, hmm. Do I do that or do I just fire off a Thunderbolt? I'm just going to go for Volt Switch. Because I think he's going to go into his um, Tangrowth here. Because I think Tangrowth is his best switch in to Tapu Koko. And if he does that, I get to Belly Drum up. Please go into Tangrowth. <laughs> Please go into Tangrowth. Nope, he doesn't. Let's see if this kills. I doubt it will. Nope. Which is fine. Which is still fine. 
Um... Trying to think how I want to do this. I'm going to go into my Uxie. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to click Roost here, which is no big deal to me. He goes for Discharge. Hmm. Okay. My Uxie might outspeed this thing. Depending on how much speed he's running, I might outspeed this thing and I can kill it with a Psychic. Do I want to do that? Um, I'd rather get rocks up and allow him to kill me. I do outspeed him. So if he kills me right here or goes for a, um, he goes for roost. Okay, this is what I wanted because now I think he has to defog. I think he has to. And now what I can do is I can go into Linoon and I can belly drum up. Or I can U-turn and I can go back into my Tapu Koko. I definitely think he's going to defog though, and I kind of sort of want to play it aggressive, but since he's running Discharge and not Thunderbolt, I do not want to allow my... Is he static? Nope. I don't want to allow my Linoon to get uh, paralyzed just yet. But since he's adamant on staying in with this Zapdos, I'm just going to click Thunderbolt on it and allow his... Um, he's going to go for Heat Wave here. Why didn't you defog? Yeah, that did about what it should have for um, bulky no special attack investment. So since he's adamant on staying in, I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. <laughs> um, it He doesn't have a switch into it. If he goes into his Tangrowth, I can pivot around that and... I just want to set up with Linoon. <laughs> That's all I want, is I want to set up with Linoon. This Thunderbolt to... Um, he does stay in, so I'm going to kill this Zapdos right here. Yeah, cool. So I don't have to worry about my um, thing being... <laughs> um paralyzed uh, to uh, to static is what I'm trying to say Infernape okay take rocks and now what I want to do is I want to sack off my Uxie I really want to sack off Uxie Because this thing is still a really big win con, like a huge win con, and once uh, Infernape takes a little bit more damage, just a little bit, and this uh, kill on his end to killing my Yuxi will give me the exact knowledge as to whether I can set up with Linoon or whether I go back into my Tapu Koko and just get another kill. And my Genesect is still at full health, so I can tank a plus like three hidden power fire from Calm Mind Magirna. I still have Stomping Tantrum. I still have my Monferno to outspeed it. Um, go, he does go into Magirna. Uh, okay. Let me see something. Does Floor Cannon take me out? does okay i'm just going to go into my uh monferno because i can just click flare blitz on this thing and depending on how bulky it is it might just drop it does 81 to 96 to no hp investment so depending on rolls and if he sets up i can mock punch it afterwards it's a shame i'm not i'm not be getting a chance to set up with linoon that's so upsetting he's he's probably watched my video on how i set up uh on dan with it so I'm not too, too surprised, but at the same time, I'm disappointed because I really want to show off Stomping Tantrum Linoon. 
I really, really want to do it. And I do outspeed this thing, guaranteed. Unless he's scarfed. And if he's scarfed and he locks himself into anything which he does not, this will do about 81 to 96 to no HP investment. Okay. And I get the burn. That sucks. Sucks for him, not for me. And what does he go for? He goes for Volt Switch. Okay. How do I want to deal with this? I think going into Line Noon and just belly drumming up. But at the same time, I don't want to risk it. I'm going to go into Tapu Koko. I have to. I have to. I don't want to risk losing this entire game just because of... I'm really proud of Monferno, though. It did a lot of damage to this Magirna. So what I kind of want to do is click Thunderbolt because it forces in the... He'll have Infernape, Tangrowth, and Salamence left. It forces in Tangrowth or Infernape. If he goes into Infernape, he's instantly in range of E-Speed. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt to force in the Infernape. Shout out to Monferno, though, dude. Monferno took the Earthquake, got off some decent chip damage onto his... um. What's it called? Tangrith, yep. And I think this is where I set up with Linoon. I go into Linoon. Yeah. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Genesect because I don't need my Assault Vest anymore. All I need it for is E-Speed. That's all I need it for now, uh, to be able to revenge kill his Salamence and his uh, Infernape. I wonder how much I've been calling his Infernape Monferno. Do I get the attack boost? I get the special attack boost, which kind of sort of sucks. Wait, why didn't that knock off my Assault Vest? Why didn't that knock off my Assault Vest? Please tell me I remembered to put it on. I did remember to put it on. Um, that's weird. So I think just clicking U-turn here is the overall safest play. I think that's just the overall safest play. If he stays in, he's going to take a lot of damage from this. And now I'm okay with going into my Tapu Koko. He can go for Earthquake. I'm even fine if this kills me. I would rather this kill me, honestly. I would rather this kill me. And it does. Now what I can do is I can go into my Linoon and I can set up and I can finally finish off this game. He played really well around um, not giving Linoon a free chance to come in. I do just get to belly jump up though. And if he stays in and goes for um, anything really, even Giga Drain, it won't give him enough health back to live the return. Yeah, he's not going to gain enough back to live the return. Even if he's Fizz Def, it kills him from this range. There we go. There's a kill for Linoon. Man. It was hard forcing in his... It was a lot harder forcing in his Tangrowth than I thought. Um, and 
so much of he just stayed in on my volt switches and u-turn and it made it really difficult and now i just win with e-speed yeah him him staying in on all of my volt switches and u-turns made it really 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 difficult actually as long as i don't misclick This was a really good game, though. He played really well around not allowing Linoon to set up. He played really, 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 really well around it. Look at that Kamo'o gear, dude. Look at that Kamo'o gear. And there we go. And even if Mens comes in and intimidates me, it still dies to a plus 5 E speed after rocks. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it does 123%. So we'll just go for the E speed. Good game, Powder. Very good game. Shout out to Linoon. Shout out to Genesect and Tapu Koko. Everybody put in work. Monferno put in work. I'm very, very happy with how this game went. Very good game. Nice 3-0 win to start off the league. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below for me. Also, make sure you go check out Powder and all of the other coaches that are going to be down in the description below because they all have some pretty amazing content. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.